What's up guys, Straight Up Wrestling here. I thought I'd do a video today which is a bit of a different one where we investigate a wrestler's real height and it might be a, a new series that I do. For those who don't know, in the professional wrestling business quite often wrestlers will round up their height by uh, 2 or 3 inches, in some cases even 5 inches and the weight by like 50 pounds in order to give off the impression that the wrestler is more big and, and scary and create a better kind of image for the audience. So the wrestler we're going to be looking at today, I figured it would be the uh, best one to start with, is The Rock. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Now, The Rock has claimed multiple times on multiple occasions to be six foot four. He once on his Instagram turned around and said, despite reports that I'm six foot five, I'm only six foot four. Uh, the reports that he was six foot five came from the WWE or at the time the WWF. They billed him and his build height was six foot five. And on multiple occasions, he's claimed to be six foot four or six foot four and a half. And this is a roundup by, I would say, about two inches, and I'll explain why. So, as we can see with Chris Hemsworth, who is six foot three, the rock in this photo is slightly shorter than Chris. Obviously, there's hair and there's footwear advantages to take into account, and that's fair enough. But at the same time, We've got another photograph here of The Rock and John Cena having a sort of stare down. And The Rock barely looks any different from John Cena, who's around six foot and a half inch and has also claimed to be exactly that height. The fact that there's not that much of a height difference between The Rock and um, John Cena here, it's, it's really not what somebody who's six four and somebody who's six foot would look like. Also, just some more proof, here's a picture of The Rock with Vince Vaughn, who is around 6 foot 5. As you can see, The Rock looks considerably shorter, does not look to be an inch height difference there, it looks to be quite a bit more than an inch. I would say with The Rock, the uh, the idea of him being at all 6 foot 4 is like completely out of the window. I think there's just too much evidence of him stood with people who are 6 3 and 6 2, and looking to be more around that range, even slightly shorter than 6 3. We've also got to bear in mind The Rock is now in his 40s and he may have lost some height uh, since he was wrestling. Wrestlers tend to lose height over the years because you shrink with age anyway, but obviously in wrestling and in weightlifting that puts a bit more strain on the spine. That strain on the spine can make you more likely to lose height at a younger age. So with that being said and with all the evidence that I've seen so far, I would say that The Rock is around, when he was at his peak height, I would say he was just under 6'3", something like literally six two and seven eighths or something um and i'd say that when he got to a older age i'd say that now he's more in the kind of six two and a half six two and you know three eighths kind of range i think that he has lost a bit of height over the years but the rock it's preposterous to think that he's ever seen a day where he was ever six four um so yeah a lot of people who are over, like say six two and a half and six two and three quarters, though, will think that they're six foot four because not a lot of people actually know their real height, and we all base it off of what we're told by other people. So yeah, that's a short, quick video to tell you. A short, quick video, no pun intended. That's a short video to uh, let you know the rock's real height. If you like this video and you would like to see more content like it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'm straight up wrestling, and I'll catch you next time.